Now we shall uh, do certain questions you now, some questions on this invertebrate phyla. Uh, I shall read out the question for you and later on we will uh, try to get the answer. We will start with the first question, hookworm is the name given to A. Trichinella, B. Trichurus, C. Ankylostoma, D. Ucharavia. Now this Trichinella, Trichinella spiralis is commonly called Trichinia worm, Trichurus Trichurus is commonly called whipworm, Ankylostoma is called hookworm and Ucharavia is called filarial worm. So, hookworm is the name given to ankylostoma. Ankylostoma is commonly called hookworm. There are two parasites you know, you learnt already. Ankylostoma duodenal is commonly called old world hookworm. Nicator americanum is commonly called uh, new world hookworm. So, first question, the correct answer is C, ankylostoma. So, for the first question, question number 1, the answer is C. So, ankylostoma is the commonly called hookworm here. Second question, pinworm is the name given to enterobius, B ankylostoma, C ascaris, D trichinella. Now dear students you know enterobius is commonly called pinworm or threadworm or seatworm, ankylostoma is commonly called hookworm, ascaris is commonly called roundworm, trichinella is commonly called trichinia worm or garbage worm. So second question correct answer is A that is enterobius which is commonly called pinworm or threadworm or seat worm. So, answer is A, enterobius is commonly called pinworm or threadworm or seat worm. So, these are the common names of enterobius vermicularis. So, second question correct answer is A. Now question number 3, match the following here now, genus is given on one side and common names on the other side here now, A trichinella, trichinella is commonly called whipworm, acorn worm, pin worm, trichinia worm, so fourth option is correct, trichinia worm, fourth option is correct. The next you have B, B says trichurus. Trichura, trichura, commonly called whipworm. So, first option is correct, you know. First option is correct. C, ankylostoma. Ankylostoma is commonly called hookworm. So, fifth option is correct. Next, D, enterobius. Enterobius is commonly called, as I said earlier, pinworm or threadworm or seat worm. Pinworm is there. So, third option is correct. So, correct options are A4, B1, C5 and D3. So, third question correct answer is C. Question number 4. Trichinia worm is the name given to A. Trichurus, B. Trichinella, C. Ascaris, D. Enterobius. Here, yeah, trichurus is commonly called whipworm, trichinella spiralis is commonly called trichinia worm or garbage worm, ascaris is commonly called round worm, enterobius is commonly called pinworm or threadworm or seat worm. So, the correct answer for the fourth question is B, trichinia worm is the common name of uh, trichinella spiralis. So, B is the correct answer for question number 4. Now, question number 5. In the nematode, the function of amphid is A secretion, B excretion, C chemoreception, D photoreception. Now, you have learnt already the general characters of nematoda. They have got two kinds of sense organs, you know, amphids and phasmids. The phasmids are glandulosensory, they are present in the tail region. Amphids are chemo olfactory, they are present on the lips. So, fifth question correct answer is C chemoreception. Now, sixth question here now. Assertion, sexual dimorphism is seen in roundworms. Reason, in males posterior region is curved, possesses cloaca and pineal spicules. So, here both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation. So, sixth question correct answer is A, that is both assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation. So, sixth question correct answer is A. Now, seventh question here now, 
assertion reasoning again nematodes exhibit utility assertion reason in nematode cell division ceases at the end of embryonic development thus the number of cells and nuclei in adult remains constant now you should know the definition of utility what is utility if the number of cells and the nuclei remains constant in any organism it is called utility you know so here assertion is correct and uh, reason is giving the definition correct definition in nematodes cell division ceases uh, at the end of embryonic development so that the number does not increase the number of the cells remains constant you know so seventh question correct answer is a that is both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion so seventh question correct answer is a question number 8 read the following statements number 1 nematodes show utility number 2 nematodes have highly developed blood vascular system number 3 nematodes exhibit sexual dimorphism number 4 nematodes are the first to form true coelomates the correct options you know among these if you see the correct option first option is correct that is nematodes exhibit utility that is correct option here now nematodes have highly developed blood vascular system that is wrong because in all parasites you know blood vascular system is highly degenerated or absent so second option is wrong third option nematodes exhibit sexual dimorphism so that is correct here now because all nematodes exhibit sexual dimorphism where males have a curved tail with cloaca and females spicules females have a tapered tail with the anus so it's correct you know fourth option nematodes are the first formed true coelomates that is also wrong option here now because nematodes exhibit pseudo coelo but not true coelo so the correct options are 1 and 3 so the answer for the eighth question is a question number 9 here now animal nature of sponges was established by a l h hyman b robert grant c z b lamarck d lucard animal nature of sponges was established by robert e grant so the ninth question correct answer is b robert grant established animal nature of sponges the sponges were discovered by aristotle but the name sponges was given by robert e grant the same time he established even animal nature of sponges so ninth question correct answer is b now tenth question here now assertion a phylum porifera is an evolutionary blind offshoot reason all the eumetazoan phyla evolved from porifera now here why the porifera are referred to as blind offshoot they have evolved from protozoa coanoflagellata of protozoa in protozoa there is a group called coanoflagellata coanoflagellates gave rise to sponges they evolved into sponges in course of time but the sponges did not give rise to any higher phyla that's why they are referred to as blind offshoot of evolutionary ladder reason he says all eumetazoan phyla evolved from porifera they did not evolve from porifera so here assertion is correct and reason is wrong here now so answer should be all eumetazoan phyla evolved from porifera that is wrong reason here now so the answer should be uh, c a is true and r is false C A is true and R is false. So tenth question correct answer is C. The question number eleven here now. The correct path of canal system in sponges that conducts water. The correct path of canal system in sponges that conducts water. A Astia, B Osculum, C Spongocil. In sponges, you know, body is perforated by numerous apertures called Astia. So through Astia. water enters into spongocele the body cavity in sponges is called spongocele or paragastric cavity from spongocele water goes out through osculum from spongocele water goes out through osculum the terminal aperture of the body is called osculum so astia spongocele osculum that is the correct answer here now so astia that is a c b should be the correct option here now a c b okay A C that is Astia spongocil osculum. A C should be A C B should be the correct option. A C B should be the correct option. So here you can go for uh, option A C B or uh, C B A also you can say that is not given. So the D is the correct answer. A C B. Twelfth question here now. assertion body wall of sponges is composed of outer pinacoderm and inner coenoderm and these are separated by gelatinous matrix the mesohyle 
So assertion is correct. The sponges are uh, false diploblastic animals with outer pinacodum and inner quinodum. In between, there is a gelatinous sticky substance called mesohyalis present. Reason, sponges are with cellular level of organization. So, sponges are cellular level of organization. That is why there are numerous cells in the uh, mesohyl and in the body wall also. And those cells are in the form of two layers. Uh, mesohyl, the sponges are with cellular level of organization. So, here the 12th question uh, I can go for correct answer is A that is both assertion reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of A. Because of cellular level of organization only cells are present in the body wall cells do not form, fuse to form tissues you know outer layer is made up of pinacodum that is pinacocytes are present in that inner layer is made up of quinodum that is quinocytes are present and even the mesohyl also different types of amoebocytes are present. So, 12th question correct answer is A. Both assertion reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. Now, 13th question here now, the character not related to moon jelly is A. Solitary medusoid form, B. Mesoglia contains amoebocytes, C. Mouth is surrounded by four oral arms, D. Nidocytes occur only in endoderm. Now, the character not related to moon jelly, moon jelly is uh, belongs to uh, which one here now? Uh, Skyphozoa, okay. Uh, Skyphozoans are commonly called jellyfish, you know. Aurelia is commonly called moon jelly or jellyfish. So, a solitary medusoid form, A option is correct for 13th question, okay. Then uh, B option, misoglia contains amoebocytes. Here, yeah, uh, misoglia uh, contains amoebocytes, okay. Uh, that is also correct option. C, mouth is surrounded by four oral arms. So, B is correct, C is also correct. D, nidocytes occur only in endoderm. In Skyphozoa and Anthozoa, nidocytes are present in both ectoderm and endoderm. So, D option is wrong here now. 13th question correct answer is D. Now, question 14 here now. Cells line the spongocil and canals in sponges. A, nidoblast, B, coloblast, C, collar cells, D, flame cells. Now, in sponges, you know, the spongocil and the canals which are there internally, radial canals, flagellated chambers, all of them are lined by collar cells or quinocytes. So, 14th question correct answer is C, collar cells. Now, 15th question here now, read the following about sponges. Uh, A, calcarea, shallow marine water sponges, example, leucosolenia. B, hexacnelida, 6 rayed siliceous spicules, example, euspongia. C, demospongia, marine or freshwater sponges, example, chalina. Now, among these, he is asking correct combination here now. The first one, if you take calcarea, all calcareans are shallow water sponges and marine sponges, you know. Leucosolenia is the best example for calcarea, that is correct option. B, if you take hexacnelida, 6 rayed siliceous spicules are present, that is why we call them hexacnelids. But however, example is wrong here now. Euspongia belongs to demospongia, but not exact nelida here now. So, 15th question here now, B is wrong, A and C are correct options. So, 15th question correct answer is B, where A and C options are correct combinations. 16th question here now, match the following, you have a list A and list B. Now, uh, list A, A, venous flower basket, uh, then B, freshwater sponge, C, glass rope sponge, D, bath sponge, E, dead man's finger. Under list B, you have Euspongia, Chalina, Spongilla, Euplectella, Hyalonima. Now, let's try to get the answer here now. Venus flower basket. A. Venus flower basket. Which one is called Venus flower basket? Euplectella. Euplectella is commonly called Venus flower basket. Euplectella is given there. Fourth option. Fourth option is correct here now. Next it says freshwater sponge. Freshwater sponge. Now the freshwater sponge is uh, among the spongilla is there. Spongilla and myenia are the freshwater sponges. They belong to the family spongilla and potamilidae. So third option is correct here now. So B, third option is correct. The next C, uh, glass rope sponge. Glass rope sponge hyalonema is commonly called glass rope sponge you know hyalonema is given under fifth option so fifth option is correct for this next d 
बाथ स्पॉन्ज यू स्पॉन्जिया इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड बाथ स्पॉन्ज यू स्पॉन्जिया इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड बाथ स्पॉन्ज यू स्पॉन्जिया इज गिवन अंडर वन सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट है ना द नेक्स्ट यू हैव डेड मैंस फिंगर ई डेड मैंस फिंगर डेड मैंस फिंगर Chalina is commonly called dead man's finger in Porifera. Alcyonum is commonly called dead man's finger in Nidaria. So Chalina is given under option two. So they are the correct option. So A four, B three, C five, D one, and E two are the correct options. You know. So answer for sixteenth question is B. Next question seventeen. Larva of Nidarians. A Parenchymula. B Trichomella. C amphiblastula D planula now among these larvae here you now the first three larvae belong to porifera parenchymula trichomella amphiblastula are the larvae of porifera planula is a characteristic larva of nidarians so 17th question correct answer is D planula 18th question here you now nidarians with polyp and medusa forms exhibit Uh, A metamorphosis, B metagenesis, C gemmule formation, D utile. Nidaria here now. Hydrozoans have got both polyp and medusa form. In scyphozoa only medusa form is present. In anthozoa only polyp form is present. And nidarians here now. Besides polymorphism, they also exhibit metagenesis here now. So the eighteenth question correct answer is B metagenesis. Now nineteenth question here now. The character not related to hydrozoa. A. Non-cellular mesoglia. That is correct because in all hydrozoans, mesoglia is non-cellular. B. Ectodermal germ cell. That is also correct because stinging cells, germ cells, and sense organs are ectodermal. C. Polymorphism. Nidarians also exhibit. Hydrozoans also exhibit polymorphism. That is also correct here now. D. Nidocytes occur in ectoderm and endoderm. That is wrong because nidocytes are confined only to ectoderm. In hydrozoa, so nineteenth question correct answer is D. Twentieth question here now. Choose the correct combination from the following: A. Physalia, Portuguese man of war, Mesoglia with amebocytes. Now the Physalia uh, belongs to hydrozoa. It is commonly called Portuguese man of war. Whereas mesoglia does not contain any amebocytes, you know. Amebocytes are there in scyphozoa. Mesoglia is being made up of connective tissue fibers in anthozoa. So A option is wrong, you know, because mesoglia does not contain amebocytes, you know. Then B, rhizostoma, jellyfish, ectodermal germ cells. Rhizo that is also wrong because rhizostoma belongs to scyphozoa. In scyphozoans, nidocytes occur in endoderm. Uh, germ cells originate from endoderm, but not ectoderm. So B option is also wrong, you know. Then C option, Adamsia, C anemone, polypoid form. That is correct option, you know. D if you take. Panatula, C fan, ectodermal nidocytes. Panatula is commonly called C pen. That is wrong option once again. So among these, the correct combination is Adamsia, C anemone, polypoid form. So twentieth question correct answer is C. Now question number twenty one here now. Precious red stone coral is A. Obelia is commonly called C for our zoo fight. B. Arilia is commonly called jellyfish. C. Gorgonia is commonly called C fan. D. Corallium rubrum is commonly called precious red coral or red stone coral. So, twenty-first question correct answer is D. Now, twenty-second question here now. Coloblasts of tinophores are used for A. Offense and defense. B. Food capture. C. Locomotion. D. All. Now, in tinophores, you now stinging cells are absent. In the place of stinging cells, they have got coloblasts or lasso cells. They are also called. These lasso cells are coloblasts. They help in food capture. So the correct answer for twenty-second question is B. Food capture. Twenty-third question here now. Character not related to tinophores is A. Radial symmetry. That is correct. They are radial or biradial symmetrical. B comb plates are present. That's why they are also called tinophores. Eight comb plates are present in the body. C lasso cells are present. That is also correct. D three germ layer. That is wrong, you know, because tinophores are diploblastic, but not triploblastic. So twenty third question correct answer is D. 
ट्वेंटी फोर्थ क्वेश्चन के नाउ टीनो फोर्स विदाउट टेंटेकिल्स इन एडल्ट एज वेल एज इन द लार्वल स्टेज ए बेरो बी टीनो प्लाना सी प्लूरोब्रेकिया डी हार्मीफोरा नाउ दिस टीनो फोरा इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू आर्डर्स ये नाउ वन इज टेंटेक्यूलेटा द अदर वन इज न्यूडा all these examples tenoplana ciloplana pleurobrachia harmifora they all belong to tentaculata because they have got a pair of tentacles on the aboral side here now and uh, bero is the only example for nuda so 24th answer correct answer is a bero 25th question here now larva of tenophores is a parenchymula there is a larva of poriferens b cidipede it is a larva of tenophores c scyphistoma it is a larva of jellyfish that is scyphozoans d muller it is a larva of uh, larva of platyhelminthes that is uh, polycladids of turbellaria so the answer for 25th question is b cidipede now 26th question here now function of flame cells in flat worms a digestion and excretion b ingestion and intracellular digestion c excretion regeneration d excretion and osmoregulation now the flame cells here now the main function of flame cells is osmoregulation besides osmoregulation they also help in excretion so 26th question correct answer is d that is osmoregulation and excretion here 27th question here now character not related to platy helminthes a acylomate nature that is correct here now because all platy helminthes are acylomates wherein body cavity is replaced by mesenchyme or parenchyma b ladder type of nervous system it is also correct here now because all platy helminthes have ladder type of nervous system c digestive system with mouth and anus that is wrong here now because in platy helminthes Uh, only one aperture is present that is mouth is present anus is absent gut is incomplete without anus so c is not related to platy helminthes and d protonephridia for excretion that is true protonephridia are modified into flame cells so 27th question correct answer is c 28th question here now flat worms with the mucus forming rhabdites a bilharzia b dugishia C echinococcus D fasciola now these uh, rhabdites you know which secrete mucus are present in all turbellarians now among these examples dugishia or planaria belongs to turbellaria so 28th question correct answer is B 29th question you know larva of turbellarians is A cystis circus it is a larva of tinea solium B muller it is a larva of turbellarians cidipede it is a larva of tenophores cercaria is a larva of trematodes you know so the answer for 29th question is B muller now 30th question here now correct match the following A tinea solium B cystosoma C dugishia D fasciola Uh, pseudo metamerism blood fluke ectoparasite polyembryony now try to get the answers you know a tinea solium now what is correct with regard to tinea solium you can say uh, among these a is correct the next b cystosoma cystosoma is commonly called uh, blood fluke of man you know so b option is correct you know b option is correct so blood fluke b option is correct next c dugishia dugishia belongs to turbellaria uh, among these you know okay uh, dugishia the answer is okay ectoparasite blood fluke uh, it uh, answer is uh, not given here now so the correct answer you can say the free living form dugishia free living form okay free living form that is among those options if you take here now uh, under uh, polyembryony you can write there free living form so the free dugishia is a free living belongs to turbellaria the next is d fasciola d fasciola fasciola correct answer is polyembryony okay so a b 
uh, this is a b poly embryonic is a b c d so d this is poly embryonic so d and this you can say a e so the correct answer is a b e d correct answer is a b e d so 30th question here now a uh, pseudo metamerism that is a option is correct then cystosoma blood flu b option is correct here now then dugesia free living form e option is correct here now then uh, fasciola polyembryony d option is correct so a b e d so 30th question correct answer is c that is a a b b c e t d is the correct option here now question number 31 character not related to tapeworms a syncytial tegument that is correct here you now in all tapeworms the outermost layer of the body wall is tegument and is syncytial it is correct b acetabulum they've got suckers you know four suckers are there suckers are also called acetabula it is correct here you now c botrydia it is wrong here you now botrydia are long slits they are present in diphyllobotrium latum which is commonly called broad fish tapeworm but not in tapeworm so c is the correct answer d cystocercus larva that is also correct so 31st question correct answer is c question number 32 read the following and choose the incorrect one about nematodes body covered by collagenous cuticle it is correct in all nematodes now cuticle is made up of collagen correct b epidermis is ciliated and cellular it is wrong here now epidermis is not ciliated but however it is syncytial so b option is wrong then c first to show tubular tube organization that is correct here now d pseudocoelomate animal is also correct so 32 question here now which of the following is incorrect so that is b e option is the correct answer so 32 question correct answer is b question number 33 the correct match uh, from the following about nematodes a rennet cells excretory system it is correct rennet cells are there in nematodes you know apart from head shaped excretory canals bringing about excretion it is correct b ukararia oviparous it is wrong here you now because ukar area is ovo viviparous c trichinella highly modified amphids it is correct next one d phasmids you now posterior glandulosensory structures so it is also correct so among these options you now a is correct then uh, c is correct okay then d is correct a c d are correct here you now so 33rd question correct answer is b is a correct answer now question number 34 assertion here now uh, nematodes exhibit u telly it's correct reason the number of cells in gonads of nematodes remains constant once animal reaches the adulthood so uh, the number of cells in gonads except gonads you know in all the other organs number of cells remains constant you know so that should be the reason here now but reason is given wrong here now so 34th question correct answer is c a is true but r is false so 34th question correct answer is c now question number 35 parapodia of nares are meant for a locomotion and foot capture b locomotion protection c locomotion excretion d respiration locomotion now the nares belongs to class polycheta in all polychaetes you now the locomotory organs are parapodia within the parapodia ct are present parapodia are provided with numerous blood capillaries also that's why parapodia are meant for both locomotion and respiration so 35th question correct answer is d respiration and locomotion 36th question character not related to polychaetes distinct head with eyes tentacles and palps it's correct in all polychaetes you now head is distinct with prostomial tentacles peristomial tentacles prostomial palps and prostomial cirri and all that b gonads are without gonoducts it is also correct you know because in polycheta gonads are without gonoducts only in oligocheta gonads are with gonoducts you know but in polycheta they are without gonoducts that's correct now c clitellum develops during breeding season it is wrong you know polychaetes do not have clitellum at all clitellum develops during breeding season in leeches but not in polychaetes so c option is wrong d development is indirect with a trochophore larva it is also correct you know so 36 question correct answer is c now 37th question here now freshwater oligochaetes a hirudinaria b tubifex c arnicola d convoluta now among these here now hirudinaria is commonly called indian cattle leech it is a, it is a hirudinarian 
that is belongs to Hirudinia class. Tubifex is commonly called uh, blood worm, it is a freshwater oligochaete. Arunicola is commonly called lugworm or lobe worm, belongs to polycata. Convoluta is a turbularian. So, among these options, you know, the correct answer is B, Tubifex, which is freshwater and commonly called blood worm. 38th question here now, character related only to Hiridinians are A, all are ectoparasites, okay, that is correct, Hiridinians, uh, Hiridinians are now related to only Hiridinians, you know, okay, uh, that is not, all of them are not parasitic you now, some of them are even carnivorous also, but they are not parasite. B, body with definite number of segments, that is correct here now. Okay, in all leeches here now, the number of segments is definite, that is they have got 33 segments and 109 annuli. C, clitellum is permanent. So, permanent clitellum is absent in them, clitellum appears only during breeding season. So, it is a wrong option here now. D, suckers for locomotion, they have got suckers for locomotion, that is correct. Internal fertilization due to serous, it is also correct. So, 30th question, correct answer is uh, C. So, what are the correct options? He is asking correct options you now. Uh, characters related only to Hirudinians. So, C is the correct option that is correct option A, all are ectoparasitic. A is correct. Then C, permanent clitellum, okay, related to only Hirudinians. Uh, B, body wall with definite number of segments. So, A is correct, okay, ectoparasites. B is correct here now, okay, definite number of segments. Then uh, D is correct, suckers are there for locomotion. Then E is correct, internal fertilization. Internal fertilization. So, the correct answer is A, B, D, E. A, B, D, E is the correct option here now. So, answer C is the correct answer for 30th question. Where the options are A, B, D, E. A, B, D, E. E is correct answer for Hidenius. 38th question is, answer is C. 39th question here now, correct function about botryoidal tissue of leeches. A, it reduces coelom, it is correct here now. Coelom is replaced completely by botryoidal tissue. B, it is for respiration, it does not help in respiration, you know, it is wrong. C, it is for storage of iron and calcium, it is correct. D, it is for revascularization in areas of injury, it is correct. So, the correct options are A, C, D are the correct options you know. So, the answer for 39th question is C. Question number 40 here now, match the following uh, in eyelids you know, list 1 and list 2. Uh, A, it says land leech. A, land leech. Under list B, if you take list 2, you take Pontabdella, commonly called skate sucker, Arunicola, commonly called lugworm or lobe worm, Hemodipsa, commonly called uh, 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 land leech, you know, Aphrodite is commonly called sea mouse. So, land leech is Hemodipsa. Third option is correct. Hemophis is harsh leech, Hemodipsa is land leech, correct. Sea mouse, it says sea mouse. Aphrodite is commonly called sea mouse. So, Aphrodite is given four. Fourth option is correct. Then next to C, you have lugworm. Arunicola is commonly called lugworm or lobe worm. Arunicola is commonly called lugworm or lobe worm, where option 2 is correct. The next D, marine leech. Okay. Marine leech. Among these, which is the marine leech, you know, Pontabdella. It is commonly called skate sucker. It sucks the blood of skates, that is cartilage fish. All cartilage fish live in marine water. So, here, marine leech D, first option is correct. So, the answer is A3, uh, B4, C2 and D1. So, for 40th question, correct answer is B. Question number 41 here now. Soft bodies, unsegmented schizocelomate phylum of animal kingdom in the following. A. Mollusca, B. Canodermata, C. Hemicardata, D. Amelida. Molluscans are soft bodied, unsegmented schizocelomate animals. So, 41 question correct answer is a mollusca. Now, question number 42, match the following you have class and character. Now, here this is A cephalopoda. A cephalopoda, if you see there, boat like foot, it is wrong, that is present in scaphopods. Axe like foot is present in pelisipods. Head foot 
it is present in cephalopods because in cephalopods foot is modified into oral arms which are there around the head here now oral arms which are there around the head and siphon so the correct option for a is 3 the next we have b scaphopoda is s b scaphopoda scaphopoda boat like foot is present so first option is correct the next C, it says Pelisipoda. Pelisipoda, axe shaped foot is present. That is, two option is correct. The next D, Gastropoda. Gastropods are snails, you know. Snails, you know, pila, globus, and all of them belong. Belly footed molluscan. They are also called belly footed molluscan. So, fourth option is correct. So, the correct answer is. A3, B1, C2 and D4. So, the correct answer is B. 42nd question, correct answer is B. 43 question here now. Asphradium is A. Respiratory organ, B. Masticatory organ, C. Sense organ, D. Locomotory organ. Asphradium is a chemoreceptor organ in, in uh, molluscans here now. It tests the purity of water in molluscans. So, among these options, the correct answer is C. So, C, 43rd question, correct answer is C, that is, Aspiridium is a sense organ. What kind of sense organ is this? Chemoreception tests the purity of water before the water could enter into the snail. So, 43rd question, correct answer is C. Now, 44th question here now, one of the following is a mismatch. Aplesia, commonly called sea lemon, it is wrong. Aplesia is commonly called sea hair. B, mitilus commonly called marine muscle, it is correct. C, dentalium, commonly called tusk shell, correct. Sepia, commonly called cuttlefish, it is correct. So, the answer for 44th question is A. 45 question here now. The following are the statements about the class monoplacophora. Number 1, visceral mass uh, shows internal segmentation, it is correct. Monoplacophora is only group of mollusca with internal segmentation. So, A option is correct here, you know, or first option is correct. Heart is unique with two pairs of atria and ventricles. It is also correct here you now. Heart has got two pairs of atria and uh, a pair of ventricles. It is also one of the unique characters of monoplacophora. Number three, represented by neomania. Neomania is wrong here now. Neomania and ketoderma, both of them belong to A placophora. The examples for monoplacophora are Neopelina galethe and Neopelina evengi. They are the two examples for monoplacophora. So, correct options are one and two are correct options. So, among these, the correct answer is B. 45th question, correct answer is B, that is one and two are correct options. Now, 46th question here now, identify the correct matching. A. Crystalline style scaphopoda. B. Cartilaginous cranium cephalopoda. C. Calcareous picules gastropoda. Uh, D. Captacula A. Placophora. Now, among these here now, crystalline style is present in, um, he is saying identify the correct matching. Crystalline style helps in carbohydrate digestion. It is present in pelisipodes. In pelisipodes here now, radula is replaced by crystalline style. So, a wrong option here now. Then cartilaginous cranium cephalopoda is correct. In all cephalopods here now, cranium is cartilaginous, it is correct. C, calcareous spicules gastropoda is wrong. Calcareous spicules are present on the shell in A placophora. Captacula uh, are thread like structures in scaphopoda, it is also wrong. So, correct answer is B. For 46th question, correct answer is B. Now, 47th question here now, unique character of cephalopods. A. Exhibit torsion during development. Cephalopods do not exhibit torsion, that is wrong option here now. B. They are suspension feeders, uh, that is also, okay, suspension, unique feature. Suspension feeders, that is wrong, they are not suspension feeders here now. Uh, suspension feeders are pelisipodes or suspension feeders, so it is wrong here now. They have closed blood vascular system, so it is the only correct answer of cephalopoda. They have got internals, that is also wrong. So, 47th question, correct answer is C. The only group of mollusca with a closed blood vascular system is cephalopoda. So, 47th question correct answer is C. Now, 48th question here now. Larva of freshwater mussel. A. Glochidium. B. Velija. C. Trochophore. D. Zoia. Now, glochidium is the correct answer. In uh, uh, pelisipodes here now, glochidium is a characteristic larva. 
of all pelicipodes you know so glucidium is the correct answer for 48th question now 49th question here now molluscans without radula a placophora a b polyplacophora c gastropoda d pelicipoda i have made a mention a while ago in pelicipodes radula is replaced by crystalline style so 49th question correct answer is d pelicipoda 50th question spirally coiled shell occurs in this molluscans a chiton b loligo c pila d dentalium now in uh, pila that belongs to gastropoda shell is spirally coiled with 6 to 6 and half coils called whorls so 50th question correct answer is c now question number 51 here now uh, following are the correct statements about echinoderms number one they possess mesodermal endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles it's correct in all echinoderms here now dermal ossicles act as endoskeleton they are made up of mesoderm it is correct here now number two circulatory system is closed with heart and blood vessels wrong in echinoderms blood vascular system is open type without heart and without respiratory pigment so second option is wrong here now second option is wrong okay then next third uh, blastopore first develops into anus and secondarily mouth it is also correct here now because echinoderms are the only invertebrates which are deuterostomians so correct options is asking correct statements are one and three are correct options so 51 question correct answer is d now 52 the ancestral larva of echinoderms a doliolaria b dipleurula c auricularia d bipinaria Diplula is said to be the ancestral larva of echinoderms. So, 52 question correct answer is B. Now, 53rd question here now. Uh, which of the following is not true about sea lilies? A. They are free swimming. Uh, B. Madriporite is absent. C. Ambulacral grooves are open. And D. Arms are biramus. Now, these sea lilies belong to crinoidea. And crinoids say now, sea lilies. Uh, are free living and uh, uh, okay sea lilies are free swimming here now uh, then uh, that is correct the madriporite is absent okay uh, madriporite is present here now but it is orally present orally placed in uh, crinoids you know that's why is a wrong option here now then all the other options are correct here now so 53rd question correct answer is b madriporite is absent so 54th question here now aristotle lantern helps in a respiration b checking water purity c cleaning the body d mastication of the food aristotle lantern is a five joint masticatory structure present in class echinoidea of phylum echinodermata so it helps in mastication so 54th question correct answer is d now 55 you have got the list here now list one and list two List 1 he says A. Sea cucumber. Sea cucumber among this crinoidea, echinoidea, holothuroidea. Sea cucumbers belong to holothuroidea. So, third option is correct. The next B he says basket stars. Garganocephalus is commonly called basket star. So, it belongs to ophuroidea. So, fourth option is correct. Then C, feather stars. Feather stars say now, uh, feather stars say now belong to uh, crinoidea. Crinoidea includes feather stars and sea lilies, you know. So, feather stars belong to crinoidea. So, correct option for C, crinoidea should be correct here now. So, 1. This is correct. The next D, sand dollar. Sand dollars belong to echinoidea. Sand dollars, cake urchins, heart urchins, sea urchins, okay, sea biscuits, all of them belong to echinoidea. So, second option is correct. Sand dollar. So, answer is A3, B4, C1, and D2. That is the correct option here now. So, 55th question, correct answer is B. Now, 56th question here now. Identify the correct match. Number 1, pedicillaria are absent in crinoidea. So, it is correct here now. Uh, number 2, two-jawed pedicillaria are present in asteroidea. That is correct. All asteroids, pedicillaria is two-jawed. 
Number three, three joint pedicel area are present in echinoidea. That is also correct. In echinoidea alone here now, the pedicel area are three joint. So, 56th question, correct answer is one, two, three. All options are correct here now. So, the answer is A. Now, 57th question here now, identify the incorrect statement. In crinidia, arms are biramous, so it is correct. Arms are biramous and dichotomously branched, it is correct. In holothuridia, arms are demarcated from central disc. In holothuridia, arms are absent, they do not have arms at all, so it is a wrong option. C. Ophiroidia, arms are branched and flexible. So, the Ophiroidia arms are highly branched, you know, uh, in a, that is in basket stars, if you take the arms are branched, then other Ophiroids arms are not branched, but they are highly flexible, that is correct. D. Echinoidea arms are absent, it is correct. So, 57th question, correct answer is B. Now, 58th question, if you take, you know, uh, identify the mismatched pair, larva and class he says, A. Auricularia, C. Cucumbus. That is in holothuridia, the larva is auricularia, so it is correct option. Bipinaria, feather stars. Now, bipinaria is a larva of asteroids, you know, okay. Astero astropectin, asterina, aster all of them belong to asteroidia. Their larva is bipinaria and they are commonly called starfish or sea stars. So, feather star is wrong. So, it is a wrong option. Doliolaria, sea lily. Sea lilies belong to crinidia. In crinidia, the larva are doliolaria and pentacrinidia, that is correct. Then sea urchins belong to Echinoidea. Echinoidea, the larva is Echinoplidis, is also correct. So, the 58th question correct answer is B, that is Bipinaria is not the larva of feather stars. So, 58th question is B. The 59th question here now. In the following, the pseudosilumate animal is A, fish, it is wrong, it is a bilaterally symmetrical animal. Uh, B, tapeworm, it is an acylomate. C. Nematode is a pseudocylomate and um, uh, D. Mammal, it is a bilaterally symmetrical schizocylomate. So, he is asking in the following the pseudocylomate animal is C. Nematoda. So, 59th question correct answer is C. 68th question here now, correct statement of the following. A. All vertebrates are chordates. So, it is correct here now. All vertebrates are chordates because in all vertebrates in the embryonic stage notochord is present. That is why all vertebrates can be called chordates. It is correct. B. All chordates are vertebrates. All chordates cannot be called vertebrates because protochordata notochord does not transform into vertebral column. So, they are only the protochordates but they cannot become vertebrates. So, wrong option. C. All invertebrates are chordates. That is wrong. Then D, all cardates retain notochord here now. Uh, that is also wrong here because all cardates do not retain, only protocardata notochord is retained here now. In other cardates, notochord transforms into vertebral column. So, 60th question correct answer is A. 61 here now. Digestion in cellenterata is A, intracellular, B, extracellular, C, both 1 and 2 and D outside the body. Now, digestion in or or cylindrata is partly intracellular and partly extracellular. Part of the food gets digested in gastrovascular cavity. Later on, it is absorbed by nutritive cells or endothelial muscular cells of the gastrodermis where further digestion takes place. So, digestion is both intracellular and extracellular. So, 61 question answer is C. Now, 62, which of the following is an echinoderm? C. Lemon is Doris, it belongs to Mollusca. C. Fan, Gargonia, it belongs to Porif, uh, it belongs to uh, Nidaria. C. Hair, it is an Aplysia, belongs to Mollusca. C. Urchin is an Echinoderm, belongs to Echinoidea. So, 62 question, correct answer is D. C. Urchin. Now, 63 here now, cephalization is associated with A, flat worms, B, round worms, C, earth worms, D, silk worms. Cephalization is distinctly seen in silk worms. You can say cephalization is distinctly seen in silk worm because silk worms belong to arthropoda. In all arthropods, you now a distinct head is present. Otherwise, it is noticed in earth worm, it is noticed in round worms, it is noticed even in flat worms also. But cephalization is distinctly seen in silk worms that belong to uh, phylum arthropoda. So, 63 question correct answer is D. Now, 64th question here now, tube in tube organization is absent in A, flat worms, B, round worms, 
C earthworms, D silkworms. It is tube in tube organization is absent in flatworms. Okay, all other animals tube in tube that is roundworms, pseudo is present, it is noticed. Earthworms, true silomates, silkworms, true silomates. So, the correct answer for the 64th question is A flatworms where tube in tube organization is absent. You know, so 64th question correct answer is A. Now, 65 question here now, C loam is filled with botryoidal tissue in A tapeworm, B lugworm, C leeches, D earthworms. In uh, leeches here now, body cavity is completely replaced by botryoidal tissue which is supposed to be excretory in function. Apart from that, it store, stores calcium, iron, it also helps in revascularization. So, the correct answer for 65th question is C leeches. Now, 66th question here now, molluscan group without radula, A gastropoda, B monoplacophora, C bivalvia, D cephalopoda. In bivalvia, radula is replaced by crystalline style that helps in carbohydrogenation by secreting amylase. So, 66th question correct answer is C bivalvia or pellucipoda. Now, 67th question here now, identify the correct matching, captacula, pink tada. Captacula or thread like structures present on either side of the foot in uh, scaphopods. So, the first option is wrong because Pinctata vulgaris belongs to Pelicipoda. Then, B. Bices thread dentalium. Again, it is wrong because Bices thread is present in Pelicipoda, helps in anchorage, whereas dentalium belongs to Scaphopoda. So, B is also wrong here now. C. Torsion octopus. Torsion is noticed in Gastropoda but not in octopus. Octopus belongs to Cephalopoda. Now, D ink gland sepia that is correct here now because in all cephalopods here now ink gland is present for offense and defense. So, 67th question correct answer is D. Now, 68th question here now most distinctive feature of echinodermata is A radial symmetry, uh, B deuterostomian condition, C water vascular. D enterocelium. So, most distinctive feature of echinoderms you can say they have got water vascular system here now which is also called ambilateral system that is one of the unique characteristics of this because otherwise deuterostomians all cardates are deuterostomians you know enterocelomates again cardates are enterocelomata. So, the unique feature among this is water vascular system. So, 68th question correct answer is C. 69th question. Which of the following pairs are correctly matched? Animal and feature. Hidden area, botryoidal tissue is correct because in leeches body cavity is replaced by botryoidal tissue. So, first option is correct. B. Obelia, metagenesis it is correct because Obelia belongs to hydrozoa commonly called C. Fur or zoophyte it exhibits metagenesis it is correct. Obelia uh, commonly called C. Fur or zoophyte here now exists in uh, polypoid form ok. Uh, then Medusa. Uh, it gives rise to medusa also ok, but metagenesis yeah metagenesis is there in obelia also that is correct. Entrobius schizocelomate is wrong because it is a pseudocelomate then unio tinidia unio the respiratory organs are tinidia. So, the correct option say now A is the correct option then B is the correct option then you have uh, D is the correct option okay. all of them are correct. So, the answer is uh, A. 1, 2, 4 are correct. A, B and D are correct. A, B, D are correct. So, the among those options if you see here now, he says A, 1, 2, 4 that is correct option here now. A is 1, then uh, 2 is Obelia, B that is and D is 4 Unio. So, the correct answer is A. 69th question correct answer is A. Next question number 70. Which of the following has closed blood vascular system? A. Arthropoda, B. Amelida, C. Platyhelminthes, D. Mollusca. Among these, amelids are the invertebrates with the closed blood vascular system. So, 70 question correct answer is B. Amelida. 71 question here now. Malfeasant tubules are excretory organs of insects it is correct b excretory organs of frog c respiratory organs of insects d endocrine glands of insects so the malfeasant tubules are meant for excretion in insects 71 question correct answer is a now question number 72 book lungs are the respiratory organs of a mollusca b mammalia c arachnida d earthworms now in scorpions uh, the respiratory organs are called book lungs you know scorpions 
belong to Arachnida? So, 72 question correct answer is C, Arachnida. Now, 73 question here now, cleavage in car data is A, radial determinate, B, spiral determinate, C, radial indeterminate and D, spiral indeterminate. In all cardates and echinodermates, cleavage is radial and indeterminate. So, the answer is C. 73 question correct answer is C. Now, 74th question here now, retrogressive metamorphosis is seen in A, urocardata, B, vertebrata, C, hemicardata and D, cephalocardata. Retrogressive metamorphosis is noticed in urocardata. That is, uh, what is retrogressive metamorphosis? You know, the larva of urocardata, which is called tadpole, it exhibits all advanced characters. During metamorphosis, it loses all advanced characters and gains primitive characters, which is referred to as retrogressive metamorphosis. So, 74th question correct answer is A, urocardata. 75th question, which of the following is not useful in locomotion analytics? Cuticle A. B C T A C ceramic fluid D muscles cuticle doesn't help the remaining all help in locomotion so 75 question correct answer is A cuticle 76 question in niris parapodia are useful in A swimming B reproduction C excretion D sensory the main function of uh, locomotory organ that is parapodia is swimming so 76 question correct answer is A swimming 77th question here now, parapodia of amylids bear A nephridia, B setae, C segments, D clitellum. Now, within the parapodia, setae are embedded in polychaetes here now. So, the answer for 77th question is B setae. Now, 78th question, earthworms and leeches are A hermaphrodite, B dioecious, C asexual, D metasexual. Now, both leeches and earth, uh, earthworms are hermaphrodite or monoecious. So, the answer for 78th question is A. Now, 79th question here now, typical larva of amylida is A trochophore, B veliger, C glochidium, D planula. The characteristic larva of amylids is called trochophore. So, 79th question correct answer is A. Now, question number 80, exclusively marine amylids are included in this class. A polyketa, B oligoketa, C hridinia, D all the above. Polyketa, most of them, nearly 99% polychaetes are marine animals. 80 question correct answer is A, polychaeta. Now, question number 81. The common name of polychaeta is A, econ worms, B, earthworm, C, paddle worm, D, brizzle worms. Now, the polychaetes are commonly called brizzle worms, you know. Okay. They are commonly called brizzle worms uh, or uh, the rag worms or sand worms or brizzle worms. So, 81st question correct answer is D, brizzle worms. 82 question you have, tuberculous amylids are included in the class uh, A, arthropoda, B, crustacea, C, polychaeta, D, hirudinia. In polychaeta here now, tuberculous amylids are placed both in sedentaria and erantia. So, the answer for 82 question is C, polychaeta. 83 question here now, clitellum is absent in A, niris, B, ferritima, C, leech, D, megascolex. Ferritima and megascolex, both of them belong to oligoketa. In oligoketa, clitellum is permanent. Leech, clitellum is temporary. In niris, that belongs to polyketa, clitellum is absent. So, 83 question, correct answer is A. Now, 84th question here now, polychaetes do not contain A, parapodia, B, head, C, gonoducts, and D segmentation. Polychaeta, parapodia are the locomotor organs. They have got distinct head here now. They exhibit segmentation. So, the answer for 84th question is gonoduct. They do not have gonoducts here now. In polychaeta, gonoducts are absent. Oligoketa in Hirudinia, gonoducts are present. So, 84th question correct answer is C. Now, 85th question here now. Clitellum is absent in A. Aphrodite, B. Ferritima, C. Jubifex, D. Pontopdella. Ferritima belongs to oligoketa, clitellum is present. Pontopdella is a leech, commonly called skate sucker, uh, clitellum is present. Tubifex, commonly called blood worm, it is an oligoket, clitellum is present. Then Aphrodite, it is a polychaete, clitellum is absent, commonly called uh, sea mouse. So, 85th question correct answer is A. 86th question here now, scientific name of sandworm. 
Aphrodite is commonly called sea mouse. Neris is commonly called ragworm or sandworm or clamworm. It's correct. Chubifex is commonly called bloodworm. Pontop Della is commonly called skate sucker. So, 86 question correct answer is B. Neris, which is commonly called sandworm or ragworm or clamworm. So, 86 question correct answer is B. 87th question here now. Sea mouse is a common name of A. Aphrodite, B. Neris, C. Chubifex. D. Pontop Della, just now I made a mention, Aphrodite is the correct answer. So, 87th question correct answer is A. Now, 88th question here now, Lugworm is the common name of Aphrodite, commonly called sea mouse, Arenicola, commonly called lugworm or lobe worm, Tubifex, commonly called blood worm, Pontop Della, commonly called skate sucker. So, the answer is B. 88th question correct answer is B. Now, 89th question here now, the freshwater oligochetes A. Arenicola, B. Chubifex, Pontop Della, and D. Aphrodite. So, the answer for 89th question is B. Chubifex. Now, 90th question here now. In oligochaeta, cocoon is formed in the breeding season only. The part which helps in cocoon formation is A. Clitellum, B. Cetae, C. Parapodia, D. Cuticle. In all oligochaetes say now, clitellum or cingulum gives rise to cocoon during breeding season. So, the answer for 90th question is A. No, 91, question number 91, identify the group of animals uh, which belong exclusively to the class polychaeta. Nearest Feritima, Chubifex. It is wrong because Feritima and Chubifex, both of them are oligochaetes. B. Peritima, Megascolex, Tubifex is wrong, all are oligochaetes, you know. Then C, Neris, Aphrodite, Arenicola, it is correct, all of them belong to Polychaeta. D, Neris, Megascolex, Pontop, Della, once again, it is wrong. So, 91 question correct answer is C. Now, 92, identify the group of animals which belong exclusively to the class oligochaeta. A, Neris, Peritima, Tubifex, wrong. B, Peritima, Megascolex, Tubifex, correct. C. Pontop Della, Hemodipsa, Aphrodite, wrong. D. Neris, Megascolex and Pontop Della, wrong. So, the correct answer for 92 question is B. Feritima, Megascolex, Tubifex. All of them belong to Oligochaeta. So, 92 question correct answer is B. 93. Definite number of segments are found in the following class of phylum Amelida. A. Polychaeta, B. Oligochaeta, C. Hirudinia, D. Archaeanelida. In all Hirudinians, say now, the number of segments is constant. They have got 33 segments and 109 annuli. So, 93 question correct answer is C. Now, 94th question here now. In class Hirudinia, locomotion is assisted by A. Cite, B. Parapodia, C. Clitellum, D. Suckers. In Hirudinia, locomotion is by Suckers because they do not have Parapodia and Cite. So, 94th question correct answer is D. Suckers. Now, 95th question here now, internal segmentation is absent in A. Polychaeta, B. Oligochaeta, C. Hirudinia, D. Archaeanelida. Internal segmentation is absent in Hirudinia. In Hirudinians, due to the presence of botanical tissue, internal segmentation is completely lost. So, 95th question correct answer is C. Hirudinia. Now, 96th question here now, Clitellum is formed during breeding season in A. Polychaeta, B. Oligochaeta, C. Hirudinia, D. Archaeanelida. In uh, Hirudinians here now, Clitellum appears only during breeding season in 9th, 10th and 11th segments. Okay. So, 96th question correct answer is C. Now, 97th question here now, in Hirudinia body cavity is filled with A. Silamic fluid, B. Botadyl tissue, C. Chitin, D. Cetae. Botadyl tissue is the correct answer. 97th question correct answer is B. Now, 98th question here now. In Hirudinians, the functions such as storage of iron, calcium, revascularization in areas of injury are carried out by A. Chitin, B. Body wall, C. Botadyl tissue, D. Parapodia. They are all carried out by botadyl tissue. It replaces the body cavity in leeches and thereby renders all those functions, you know. So, 98th question correct answer is C, botadyl tissue. Now, 99th question here now. Among amylids, cirrus is found in A. polychaeta, B. oligochaeta, C. hirudinia, D. archaeanelida. In hirudinians, say now, they have got an intermittent organ called cirrus. With the help of cirrus, say now, they ensure hypodermic insemination, hypodermic insemination during breeding season. That is, they inject sperms, okay, into each other 
by means of serous just below skin here now. So, 99th question correct answer is C. Herodinians. 100th question, Marine Leach is the name given to A. Herodini area, B. Pontabdella, C. Hemodipsa, D. Chubifex. Now, Pontabdella is commonly called skate sucker, it is a marine leech. Hemodipsa is a land leech, Tubifex is a blood worm. So, the answer for 100th question is B. Pontabdella. Now, 101, land leech is the name given to Hemodipsa. C is the answer, Hemodipsa is commonly called land leech. Now, 1 or 2, freshwater leech is the name given to A. Hirudinaria, B. Pontabdella, C. Hemodipsa, D. Niris. Hirudinaria granulosa, commonly called Indian cattle leech, it is a freshwater leech. You know. So, 1 or 2, answer is A. Now, 1 or 3, leeches do not possess A. Appendages, B. Ocelli, C. Annuli, D. Suckers. They have got ocelli that is eyes are there, simple eyes, annuli are present that is subsegments of the each segment, suckers are the locomotor organs. So, the answer for one or three question is A, appendages. They do not have any appendages. Now, one or four question, Indian longest earthworm is Dravida grandis, Megascolidus astralis, Ketogaster anandel and Fritima postuma. In India, the longest is Dravida. In world, Megascolidus astralis is the longest. So, one or fourth question, correct answer is A, Dravida grandis. Now, one or five, earthworms are traced by their A, mucus secretion, B, burrows, C, uh, crevices on this in the soil d worm castings the earthworms can be identified by means of their fecal pellets called worm castings you know so 105 correct answer is d now 106 question here now world's longest earthworm is a dravida grandis b megascolidus astralis c ketogaster nanandelil and d feridema postuma so megascolidus astralis happens to be the longest earthworm in world Dravida is the longest in India. So, 106 question correct answer is B. Now, 107, the smallest earthworm in the world is Dravida grandis, B. Megascolidus astralis, C. Ketogaster anandel, uh, D. Feritima postuma. The smallest is Ketogaster. So, 107 question correct answer is C. Now, 108 question here now. Which of the following is not a true segment in earthworm? Peristomium A, B, prostomium, C, preanal segment, D, buccal segment. Now, in the earthworm here now, the first form segment is peristomium. It happens to be the oldest segment here now. That peristomium later on, after the formation of all segments, gives rise to a fleshy projection called prostomium. So, prostomium is considered as a false segment because it does not originate from pygidium number 1, number 2 does not contain viscera. So, the answer for 108 question is B, prostomium. Now, 109, the first body segment of earthworm is called A, peristomium, B, prostomium, C, clitellum, D, pygidium. The first formed segment or the oldest segment that lies at the anterior end of the earthworm is called peristomium or buccal segment. So, the answer for 109 question is A, peristomium. Now, question number 110, the buccal segment of earthworm is called A, prostomium, B, peristomium, C, clitellum, D, pygidium. Peristomium is also called buccal segment because it encloses the buccal cavity internally. That is why it is called buccal segment. So, 110 question correct answer is B, peristomium. Now, 111th question here now. In ferritima, clitellum is present in between the segments A, 12 to 14, B, 14 to 18, C, 14 to 16, D, 14 to 19. In ferritima postuma, 14, 15, 16 segments, clitellum is present. It is also called cingulum. It gives rise to utica or cocoon during breeding season. So, 111th question correct answer is C. Now, 112th question here now. Uh, the In mature earthworm, clitellum formation occurs in between the segments of Okay, clitellum occurs in segments of 14 to 16, 14, 15, 16 segments, you know, clitellum formation takes place. So, the answer is B, 112th question, correct answer is B. Now, 113th question here now, the number of pairs of spermatical apertures in earthworm, 
A4, B5, C3, D2. In Fredima Postma, four pairs of spermatic are present. They are present in 6, 7, 8 and 9 segment. And spermatical pores are present in 5 by 6, 6 by 7, 7 by 8, 8 by 9. So, four pairs of spermatic are there. So, the answer for 113 question is A. Question number 114. In earthworm, spermatical apertures are located between. Just now, I made a mention here now. And that is 4 by 5, 5 by 6. So, the answer is 5 to 9 segments. You know. 5 by 6, 6 by 7, 7 by 8, 8 by 9 segments, spermatical apertures are there. So, the answer for 114th question is 5 to and 9 segments. That is 5 by 6, 6 by 7, 7 by 8 and 8 by 9. So, 114th question correct answer is A. Now, 115 question here now. Number of female genital pores present in Feritima. A1, B2, C3, D4. In Fretima Postuma, the female genital pore is single. It lies ventral, midventral in 14th segment. Lies midventral in 14th segment. So, 115th question correct answer is A.